Get a good look, honey. Allow me to present the titular body behind Body by Sheila. That is a dynamite looking outfit. What's that color? Yellow. Eyes. <laughs> That's a funny question. What's that color? Perhaps the guy is color blind or something. It's on the prize. I would love to expand into my own. So just, you know, trying to make small talk, doesn't know what to say on his. Saying what's that color when, when the color is very obvious. Own lifestyle brand. Stick to the plan. Why don't you go out there and promote your film? It's a videotape. Whatever it is. So apparently this is made in the era of VHS. So I'm guessing this is set in the 90s or 80s or 70s, you know, around that kind of period where there was the workout craze and, you know, people were making money off um, becoming. Um, videotape um workouts icons you know that type of era he doesn't care i'm the original her you stole from me no this is my routine what do we say about that anger of yours that it's bad vibes super bad vibes so apparently she probably stole her idea from someone else who you know is jealous and you know, the thing about this is that if someone steals your idea, if you are the original, make sure what you do is that first of all, you should protect your idea in the first place. That is very important. You know, secondly, if someone happens to steal your business idea and is running with it, you are the original. So if you could create something that good, you know, that is a testament of, oh, so your idea is that good that, and it is working. Create, come up with another idea or edit it, tweak it, you know. You, the creativity came from you, so there are more creative ideas and more um, business products and offerings that you could create and would rock the market and would actually even be so big that they would take over, you know, and, you know, they would dominate the marketplace and take over what that person stole from you. You know, as a matter of fact, um, just make sure you also remember to protect your idea the, the second time around. I am committed to growing my business. You have a following, but I don't have this. Are you marching? Are you breathing? I control my own name. I control my own business. And Apparently competition. Nobody tells me what to do or say. Greta, would you want to go into business with me? I just have one condition. No more secrets? What secrets? She took everything. Let's understand something. Being promiscuous is not um, something that has always been acceptable. So those kinds of things should um, be reflective when you are making a movie that is set in previous era. But of course, they want to promote certain things. It's just like when you watch um movies and you see work things in historical pieces like you see people being lesbians and gays openly or you know you see that drive for it no because the reality of the matter is that that was not there and you see passion is passion and pa passion spent is passion spent so you know in a world where people seriously frowned against homosexual tendencies and interests that passion was spent in her in heterosexual you know relationships in normal man women re relationships and you know um in man orgasms he orgasms you know so um he's satisfied he's satisfied you know but the thing is that when you use that approach then you now destroy all the nonsense that the lgbt have been saying you know because obviously they started with that you know when we start telling them to change you know when the first when the lgbt started you know wanting to push and encroach into politics and change um, the culture and society and all of that the topic the argument was like um change and it was like oh you cannot change that you are born this way you know that is what the gays were doing and they were also saying things like oh how does what another man um does in their bedroom affect you obviously we see now that it affects us you know it goes without um, saying because their plan was all along was to force it down everybody's throats oh you have to embrace this ideology oh you have to you know your children has to be taught this in schools you know um the 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 movies have to be 50 percent show this you know you have to um have this all around you you know these are now um, the, the the new replacement of african americans when it comes to civil rights you know so this was something that was their plan all along and you, you need to be wise to these people and, and, and learn it's just like people who 
look at you know for example the previous elections you know look at how all the celebrities stood for biden now that biden is in office all the things they complain about trump is what biden is you know all the things that they lied about trump and complained about oh that trump is a baby you know all of that you know biden is out there you know making a mess of himself you know whether he's pooping, you know, left, right, you know, doesn't know where he is, all kinds of stuff, you know. They were always saying that Trump was mentally unfit. But look at Biden, you know, and he was, it was clear, even while he was running, that he was mentally unfit. But the left pushed us with this. What I want to um, emphasize is that beware of these people who say such things and then, you know, it's sad that people listen to them again. A lot of these celebrities, you know, a lot of these Charlemagne, the, you know, the, the, the fellow from um, Breakfast Club, all these guys that were, you know, pushing for Biden, you know, Fat Joe and all that. Now look at what um, Biden is doing. But sadly, some people still want to listen to these celebrities. You know, when will they ever learn? You know, it, it is obvious. You, you should learn to admit, oh, you were wrong, oh, you were fooled, and then do a 180. You know, but if you keep on listening to people who have been lying to you, you have yourself to blame when you find yourself at the bottom of a pit. Then let's take it back. Change is coming. Growth. But so is loss. Pain. Regret. This isn't gonna work, Sheila. It's none of your business. It's actually half my business. What kind of person thinks they can behave in this way? Are you here to work for me or to try to become me? Sheila's rocket ship. That's funny. Are you here to work for me or try to become me? And and that's something very interesting, you know. When you have somebody that works for your company or somebody that is a project or a partner, you know, or you know you're an innovator, you have to make sure you you clearly define your relationship and you know what is happening. And you have to understand people. There's um, a book that's um, so a, a business. Um, tycoon roots you know in the book he said something to the effect of you can have all the lawyers in the world and have all the legal agreements in the world to protect yourself but don't do business with a dishonest person because in spite of what you have agreed upon in spite of all the legal um, agreements a dishonest person will make you you know regret doing business with them you know, so you have to look at the character of people. You know, that is very important, you know. So make sure you define the relationship, the business relationship, understand, make it clear what each person's role is, you know. And um, before all of that, you have to understand the person's character, you know, before you go ahead. You know, even the, the Bible makes it clear, you know, don't be unequally yoked to some believers, you know. That is an important um and an important thing that people should know a lot of people try to form unions with people that they that don't go with them that they are they are both of them are not cut from the same clothes you know and both of them are not going in the same direction you know they are they are polar opposites you know they have different interests you know the, their desires and their dreams are heading in a different direction but because for example because um they both find each other attractive or you know, they, they enjoy, you know, sleeping with each other or something of that nature. They decide to get married or decide to form a union or a partnership or something of the sort. But that always ends up in ruins. And they are surprised that it ends up in ruins. Why wouldn't it end up in ruins? You know, I mean, look at the issue with Kanye and Kim Kardashian. You know, why wouldn't it end up, you know, in, in, in this situation, we have one person that wants to change the world, you know, in Kanye. And that is, you know... Um, He's an innovator, you know, he, 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 he tries things, he takes risks, you know, and he's somebody that his passion and his desire to create change leads him into maverick territory, territory that is unusual, territory that people criticize, territory that, you know, is it's all shattered. You know, so people obviously have the opinion of it. Well, why Kim Kardashian wants to be in a place where she's liked by everybody, loved by everybody. She wants to be that TV icon and she wants to basically create a dynasty out of it. You know, she wants to pass it on now to Kanye's kids, you know, who I believe she once wanted to abort. But, you know, these um, differences in 
desires and directions you know you cannot ignore it you know you you have to understand that when two people are fundamentally different no matter what commonality you know you think you have when the, the basics the, the, the framework you know yeah you, you are different you are caught from a different quote from another person you know can two work together unless they agree you know you 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 are creating yourself a, a problem for yourself you are setting up yourself for failure it's about to take off I'm tired yes, of it's not that relationship for failure. Defense. So what's your goal? Reciprocity? A retribution? Annihilation. You know, in general, this... Have we been in too long? I was starting to worry that... Oh, relax. Would... I mean, you think they'd sell these things if they weren't safe? Yeah, that makes sense. You know this um, movie. I'm going to confess. I don't think it's interesting. It's something. It's something that, and it's actually a series. You know, something that looks like it's going to be super boring. It is. It is made for its particular audiences. Those who will be interested in it, that will be interested in it. I worry that perhaps a lot of their audience are either very old or they might have passed. You know, the target audience for this, they might have passed on. But it is what it is. I guess. You know, that being said, it's very important for us Christians to take over the entertainment, you know, uh, landscape the, and make sure that, you know, the movies that are put out tell the gospel, they tell the message of the gospel. This movie, like every other movie, we're having better if it was told from a Christian perspective, you know, and made that impact. Thank you and God bless you. Remember to check out Alfred.vip, you know. Have a nice day. If you haven't given your life to Christ, I would like you to say this prayer after me and don't pray in your mind don't repeat these words in your mind make sure they come out of your mouth you don't have to shout but you have to be able to hear yourself and make sure you mean every word of it with your heart now repeat this prayer after me dear God I come to you in the name of Jesus your word says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, according to Acts 2.21. So now I call upon the name of Jesus, and I ask that you save me. I ask Jesus to come into my heart, to be the Lord of my life. I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I believe he came, died, and rose from the dead to set me free from sin and to reconcile me with you. Your word says that you would freely give the Holy Spirit to all those who ask according to Luke eleven thirteen. Therefore I ask that you give me your Holy Spirit to live in me and as I've asked I've also received by faith. I thank you Father for your precious gifts. I thank you for I have received eternal life. I thank you because I am now saved I am now born again. I am now one of your kids. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you just pray that prayer, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. You are now a believer in Christ Jesus. Now, I would like you to go to alfred.vip. Click the salvation prayer link in the main menu. At the bottom of the page, you will see some links to some resources that will help you now that you are born again. There are things you need to know about Christianity. There are things that you need to learn. You know, resources that will help you as you begin your work with God. Thank you and God bless you.